Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I thought it was a really intriguing idea to make a cutting board out of salvaged hardwood floors. And so that's what I'm working on today. And there's a couple of tricks here. One is the boards that I took up had tongue and groove on them. So this is an example of a tongue and then this is an example of a groove. So those had to come off and then it's hard to tell here, but the bottom also had some ridges the opposite of the, the finished surface had ridges. So I actually needed to plane both sides because I wanted the finished surface to be roughed up a little bit for the eventual glue up. And then obviously this side, that the ridges need to come off. And so after, yeah, I took off the tongue and groove and then I planed it down on both sides. I'm left with, by way of example, two pieces. So when you're doing a a cutting board you can either have you know glue up this way so it's a, a face grain cutting board or you can do it this way so it's an edge grain cutting board and a little word on grains so Steve Ramsey's YouTube channel does a great analogy to talk about a paintbrush so if this were a paintbrush and the bristles are going this way then as I'm chopping on it over time I'm slowly damaging those bristles, same with the, the edge grain, but with the end grain, imagine these are the bristles going up. As I'm cutting through it, the bristles are springing back together, and that gives the end grain cutting board a lot more durability and resilience, and which is why end grain cutting boards are highly prized, and they can run into the thousands of dollars, and I did an end grain cutting board once before, it was kind of a disaster. So I'm hoping this one works out a little better, but I uh, hope you guys stick around. Everything I've done in the video thus far is basically getting this end grain cutting board ready. So yeah, when you're doing an edge grain cutting board, effectively you're doing two cutting boards. You're doing an edge grain or a face grain cutting board. And so, you know, with the hardwood floors, because they're so thin, you're almost forced to do an edge grain cutting board first because a face grain cutting board just doesn't have enough surface area here to do proper glue up. So yeah, I did an edge grain first and planed everything down. And really the planer is going to be your friend here because if there's even like a, a micron of difference between the segments, then it's gonna be pretty time consuming down the road to flatten that out because thickness planers and ingrain cutting boards are hard no simpatico. And so you're forced to really sand it flat unless you've got some kind of jig or something like that to flatten it out. So anytime spent up front, you know, flattening it out is gonna save you a lot of time down the road. And you know, you have to keep in mind that depending on the glue up and the precision level of the previous pieces, you know, if there's perhaps up to a quarter inch off in height in any one of these in either direction, you know, you kind of have to double that and you might potentially lose in that case, like half inch thickness just from the planing. So something to keep in mind. 